Cool, so hello and welcome everyone. Uh, today we will be talking about Maya projects and um, specifically about how to create a new project, how to set up a project and how to import reference images into your project or into your Maya scene. So um, let's go ahead and open Maya. Okay, so when we first open Maya, um, we want to set up a project or create a new project. And uh, for that, we will go under File and Project Window. So in here, at the moment, you can see the project Maya is currently using for this scene. And let's say I want to create a new one. So uh, all you have to do is just to click on this New button and change uh, the name to something uh, that's appropriate. So uh, I will probably just leave this as New Project for now. Uh, you can also specify the location for your files, so I'm keeping all of my uh, projects sitting under Maya projects. So I can just navigate to that really quickly, which is this folder. Um, so you can specify the folders uh, that you want uh, to have in your scene, or sorry, in your folder, but you can also get rid of some of them. So for example, if you know that you won't be using any clips or maybe translated data, all you have to do um, is just to get rid of the text uh, in those little um, windows and that will ensure that Maya doesn't create a folder with the specified name for you. So you can save up on some space, I guess, if you wanted to. Uh, if you're happy with everything the way it is, uh, just click Accept. And that's pretty much it. That's done. So you can start working on something uh, right now. So if I were to create something like a cylinder and do some sort of manipulations with the cylinder. Uh, you will also see that uh, for your scene, at the moment we haven't uh, renamed it to anything yet, but you will also see this um, asterisk, so this little star. It means that some changes uh, have not been saved for this particular scene, so you can always tell if you have done any changes to the scene. So we can go under File, uh, Save As, or Save Scene As, and it should bring us uh, into the scenes folder straight away, so we don't have to worry about anything because we just created a new project and that project is already set. So we can save um, this Maya scene, um, call it Cylinder, whatever you might uh, want to name it, uh, Project 1, for example. Um, and you can choose between two different types here, so it's either Maya ASCII or Maya Binary, and the difference is that with Maya ASCII, you can actually read the file, so sometimes uh, if your file is corrupted, you can actually open this file with the note, um, notepad or any other uh, text editor, and you can find the uh, problem, and you can try and fix it yourself. If you save it as a Maya binary file, uh, the file will be um, just zeros and ones, so you won't be able to read it, it's not human readable. Uh, that's why usually we keep it as Maya ASCII, but I don't really mind either way. Maya binary will be a little bit smaller. Uh, so whatever works for you, whatever you might prefer, it's totally up to you. And so from here you can just say, uh, click on Save As. You don't need to worry about any other options over here. And that's pretty much um, done. Uh, so let's take a look at how we can set the project. So let's say I have finished working on this particular scene and I want to switch to another project, and let's say I have a lot of them, which is true, I do have a lot of them. Uh, so to switch between different projects, uh, you can go to your file and set project. And in here, uh, you can find whichever project you are working with. So you will also have, uh, most likely will have to do it when you restart your computer, for example, just to make sure that you're actually working within the right uh, workspace. So let's say I will go to um, something like um, this anim call project. And all you have to do is to just click on the top node or the top folder which contains the rest of the folders. So just make sure that you're clicking on this and you don't need to go inside. Just highlight it and then click set. And from here you can go and file open and open absolutely um, anything you might be interested in. And hopefully um, this will bring in your model. As you can see, I have some joints here, uh, which are a little bit too um, big for this particular scene, which is fine. Um, so this is the, um, the basics of setting up your projects. Um, but also, let's take a look at how you can bring your reference images um, into your file. So let's we start a new scene. 
I will just uh, press Control N on my keyboard. So Control plus N, Control N. I'm not going to save this. Just cancel everything. Um, we're just asking about the location of some specific script. Um, and let's say I had a couple of images that I wanted to use for uh, this scene as my reference images. So, uh, for example, you have finished working on your turnarounds and now you're ready to bring um, your images into Maya and you want to start modeling. So what you have to do for that is to, well, first of all, um, let me switch back to my uh, previous uh, project. So set project and I will go with this new project for now. Um, and from here, what I also want to do um, is to find my images. They're sitting under a different project at the moment. And let's say I have my um, front and let's say right view. And maybe we'll bring in the top view as well. And so I will just go control C and I will copy those images into the source images folder of the project I'm working with at the moment, which we know uh, is called new project. So my projects, um, new project and source images. So you need to be careful about where you're actually putting your images. As long as you keep them in source images, you can actually copy this whole uh, project onto your USB stick and you can bring it home and you can just uh, copy it on your home computer and everything should be set exactly the same way. So Maya should be able to tell where your reference images are. Uh, if you import those images from your desktop, for instance, it means that uh, Maya will probably lose the connection and you will have to reconfirm uh, the location of those images. So just keep them in here. Um, it will be nice and easy for you to work this way. Um, and now what we can do, if we go into our front view, we will locate this icon uh, which is called um, image plane. You can see at the bottom of the screen it will tell you the name of the icon. Um, just click on it. And it will straight away take you to your source images folder and we're looking for the front view. And I just want to position it nicely um, so that it's sitting on the floor. And let's try and find the middle uh, of this image, the middle point for the symmetry axis roughly um, around here. And now we can go into our right view. I think it was the right view uh, which we copied. Yeah. And so from here we can import our right view. Which actually looks like left view. So let's go to our... Um, let's actually copy that picture. So if I I'll do it a couple of times, hopefully I can find this. Let's take a look if um, that's the correct one. Yes, and that's what I want to be using for my right view. So control C, go back to projects, uh, find this folder, import. So we'll just use this left. And it will make sense uh, in a couple of minutes why uh, I wanted to change the image. That's pretty much my whole, just the bad naming convention. Cool, so uh, if I exported everything correctly from Photoshop, meaning that all of those images are of the same size, which I hope I did, um, they should line, uh, line up pretty perfectly. As you can see from here. So I might just need to... Potentially, maybe I'll move this a little bit like so. It does not matter too much. So, um, at the moment, those two reference images are sitting here in a way that um, will be not very useful for me when I start modeling. So, it will be a little bit hard for me to see what I'm actually doing. So, I will move them out. Um, also, uh, you can import your other views uh, in the same manner. So, let's say, for instance, if you wanted to import something to your top view, you could do this as well. So, I potentially could import my... Um, arms. That's um, the only thing I did for my top view. And those will be, um, it will be a little bit harder to position them properly. So I might as well just um, do this for now, just to kind of see if I can line up, uh, line them up a little bit better.
So really it doesn't look ideal because I can see there is a little bit of discrepancy between my front view and the top view. Um, I could potentially either scale it up or scale it down a little bit, but you get the idea. So if you had a top view, you can always line it up from here first. It is okay for a reference, so I can still use it. I just have to keep in mind that um, the actual size will be a little bit smaller. Cool. So now I can start dragging them out a little bit. So um, I want to drag my front image to the back, so somewhere around here, and this one to the left. And this one, just drag it down a little bit. And so now you will see that if I start creating something like a sphere, um, and I go into my front view, I can see the sphere. And if I go into my right view, I can still um, see the sphere, and I can see the reference image, which is what we want to have when we're working on the models. And it should be the same case with my top view. So it's pretty perfect. And once you are happy with your reference images, all you have to do, and I would recommend doing this, is to put them on a separate, uh, separate layer. Uh, because uh, at the moment, if you're working with your models over here, it might be really easy for you to grab one of the images without actually realizing it. And you don't really want to be moving them around uh, at the stage when you start modeling. Um, because ideally, they're very nicely lined up and you don't really want to be touching any of them. So. Um, what you can do is to select all of your uh, image planes. You can do it from the outliner, or you can just do it um, in the scene view. And you can click on this um, icon called Create a New Layer and uh, Assign Selected Objects. That's exactly what we want to do. So we'll just click on it, and we can double-click on the layer name and rename it. And you can click Save from here. And you will notice that there is this V button uh, on this layer, uh, which is just the visibility. So if you wanted to turn those images off at some point, you can. And also you want to use um, not the template, but the reference button over here. So just set it to R, and it means that now um, you cannot select those images anymore. But if you needed to, um, you can always just clear this window, and, and now you can select them again. Cool, so uh, that's it for this um, small uh, little tutorial. I uh, hope it's useful, and until next time.